Hi, I'm Robert. I know in the video I made a couple of weeks ago, I said I was going to try to make a video a week, and yeah, I guess that was a little ambitious. But I came up with something cool, and I wanted to go ahead and share it with you real quick. If you remember, I'm making these interactive light sculptures I call Luminoi. And up to this point, I've just been using foam tape to attach the main board into this cavity here, but this was never going to be a long-term solution. So I came up with this. So this is a 3D printed case that has this lip around the edge. And what I've done in this piece of scrap wood is I've used a dovetail router bit to carve out a little space underneath and two holes there. So what happens is that when this slides in, it catches under this ridge, and these screws here, they do have the heat set inserts there. They're a little longer than these other screws, so they actually sink below the bottom and go into these holes that's secured in place. So this means that it's really easy to replace it and have it go into place. By the way, um, sometimes, uh, I don't know if you can see this, Torx bits kind of work in hex sockets. Not ideal, but it's better than using an Allen key. So now, with this fully secured in place, it's, it's not moving. And it fits really nice in there. I thought this was a... Uh, a pretty cool idea. One of the problems I was trying to solve is that if this board is installed in here with you know a case or something there's no way to like get in the back and actually unscrew from the back there. So I want to make it so something that could be unscrewed from here and then just slide out so that it's easy to service and replace if it needs to be replaced, which is kind of important now that I'm still making, that I'm making all these prototypes and I'm changing the board so much. So anyway, just wanted, just thought that was cool, wanted to share. Uh, if you like videos like this, please subscribe and I'll uh, talk to you next week. Thank you.